Mexico. It's Roman. I was talking to Brucey. That droid monkey? He is a good friend of mine. He'll be a good friend of yours, too, if you let him. Anyway, he's got some work, and we are in need of money. Meet him at Brucey's Executive Autos on Mohanad in East Hook. If Mallory calls you, we are bowling together. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? I'm Lenny, he's Carl, and hey. that guy just got hit by a freaking car. But this is Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 4 Part 17. And. Run over again. Uh, oh, they just of, hit each other. <laughs> yeah, he, he got into a fight. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, God, people in Liberty City. So, anyway, that call that we just got from Roman was Roman calling us to tell us that we are now going to be able to do missions for Brucey. Sweet. We needed My some. Bruce. Bruce. E. Steroid guy. Yep. Yeah, he called us say that uh, After, we're kind of right. low on money, which I don't really think we're that low on money, considering of all the people we killed, but now we're going to be doing because Brucey pays and we need the cash. Cash money. Hey. Uh, hello? I'm busy. I said hello. Ow! Motherfucker! Is your boss around? What'd you do that for? Is your boss around? Yeah, he's around. Brucey, some fucking Polak asshole for you. Pleasure to meet you, too. He's not a Polak. He's a gentleman. Still a fucking asshole. Sorry, Nicky, man. How's things? Okay. Sweet. <laughs> I got you, man. I'm big, but I'm also fast. Wake up, boy! Ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you show me that again? Hey, ah, oh! Ah! Oh! Enough, man! Enough! Oh! Ooh. Fuck me, You'll be man. all right, huh? Ooh, that's some Red Army shit. Serious. You gotta show me that one. I'm all about power. Come on, touch my backs, man. No, thank you. Rock hard. I bet 450. I'm like... Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, no shit. What are you doing here, man? Well, Roman said maybe you needed some help, and we need some money real bad. Shit, my bad. Yeah, of course. Love that guy. Love him. I mean, I am no chubby chaser, but if I was, I'd be in trouble, you know I'll let them know. <laughs> hey, I'm shitting with you. Brucey likes pussy. Remember that, right? Okay. All right now, Nikki, listen up. I know you guys need money bad. Yeah. This ain't a nice job. Not exactly mom and pop shit. No problem, as long as the pay is good. Sometimes people fuck other people over, okay? And the people that fuck other people need to get fucked with, especially people that go into hiding before they can get on the stand and put a lot of guys inside for a lot of time. What? I need you to whack some people, only they're in hiding. How do I find them? Man, you're cold! You didn't even blink! Love that! Fucking love that! You gotta steal a police car, get on the computer, give me a call. The reason to hack. Not really. All right, Brucey. I'll give you a call. Ice cold, man! Ice cold! So, here is going to be our very first mission that we need to do for Brucey, named uh, Search and Delete. Memories. For this mission, you need a cop car again, just like the last mission we did where we needed a cop car called Deja Crime Vu. and Punishment. Hello. And to do this, you should bring out your happens. phone. Yeah. It was weird. <laughs> like, you remember, like, something happened to you that you were, like, dreaming it? That, no, it's that's like happened something happened. Yeah, I know what day that is, but have you ever had yet. that happen to you? Like, yeah. That you dreamt it, and, like, a couple days later it happens to you? That happened to you. There should be a name for that. Probably is. Post in the comments. But anyway, to call a... To get a cop car, easiest way is just bring up your phone, dial 911, and then they come running like that. Like an idiot. And I have a certain method I like to use for stealing cop cars just on the street or in this scenario. Hey, how's it doing, cop? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna take it back. Uh, I didn't do it there. I thought I was, but uh, well, if you see just a random car on the street, you can. You turn. Uh, you turn. <laughs> you can if you go up to the uh, and just like normally try to steal a car, the door will be locked. So as soon as you try to open the door, you can't open it because it's locked, but then you'll get a star, so the cops will get out of the car, and then you can just get, hop right back into the car and drive away. <laughs> That's what I normally do Perfect whenever method. I want to steal a cop car. So now we have to lose the cops since we obviously got a star for stealing the cop car, and then we're going to give Brucey a call to see what we got to do next in this mission. You're a bad man, I love it! Now this cat's name 
Vile Revis. Type it into the computer, and you should get some known whereabouts and shit. I take them out myself, but when people see me coming, they fucking run, man. Know what I'm saying? Cats don't want to mess with someone packing 24-inch guns like mine, baby. Yeah! I'll track down this Revis. Oh, man. I'm feeling chills down the phone. Call me when it's done, bro. So, for the next part in this mission, we have to use the police computer, everybody's favorite thing to do whenever they steal a cop car. Yeah, it's my favorite, too. <laughs> Same here. So, you have to uh, go to the police computer here and just type in Lyle Revis, which is the guy who we have to kill. The, <laughs> yes, he is. For Brucey. Kind of becoming a hitman here as we spend some more time in Liberty City. Yeah. Kind of doing Assassination some... Assassination Crow. <laughs> Look at that guy's... Uh, Ugly. <laughs> <Mug> shot. <laughs> He's like smiling, like, yeah, that's me. Anyway, this guy lives in. You never see people smiling in mud shots. Well, that guy was because he was just full of himself. I hate people like that. Well, I hate criminals like that, I should say. They're always the bad ones that live. This guy lives in Rotterdam Hill, I believe. Correct. So we are going to. I go think you're correct. Drive to. Well, we'll see, I guess. We'll see. We will see. We're driving there right now. I, I can't wait. And the uh, anticipation is killing me. Oh my god! I know. In this mission, oh uh, geez. is another uh, chase this mission where you get in a car and you have to uh, chase him. And uh, you can use the uh, cop car uh, to. Uh, I'll have to tell you more after this cutscene that is going to come up right as soon as we get into this apartment and then we can get will happen soon close to about right oh right now <laughs> hey he did live in Rotterdam well, Revis. I got the message from Brucey for you Brucey I thought he was fucking joking shit so for this chase scene uh, you can use the cop car all you need the cop car for is to drive him to uh, just leave the or door just to open. find him. Yeah, I did that on purpose. Leave the door open. I just turned it right uh, where I knew he was going to go. Ooh, another chase scene. All right. Like I said before. But uh, all you need the uh, cop car for is to uh, find him. Just use the police computer to find him. But after you know where he is, you can uh, get any car you want for this uh, chasing. I just kept the cop car because I don't think it's that bad because you can use the sirens to get people out of your way. But uh, a couple cool things you can do is, if you remember Faustin's house in Beachgate, remember how there's a Turismo that always spawns there? I remember that. Yeah, that we got like six times and we will continue to get. You can use that on this uh, cutscene. so good! It drives really fast. And fun fact about the Turismo is the engine is in the back, so it's very sturdy. It takes a lot less time to... Uh, huh. It takes a lot less time to there's break. A that, that's, a, that's a sweet car. Anyways... I love effects. And did you know a fire no a dragonfly has a lifespan of 24 hours? I know, right? Only 24 hours? Yeah. So would suck. Same way with the fly. It must run in the fly family. Yeah. Well, you know, it's dragonfly it has the same last name. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody with the same last name is gonna die. Oops. 24 hours. No. Oh hey! Holy crap! Whoa. That was sweet. <laughs> Eddie, yeah, this is uh, he survived. Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, I did a cartwheel and then yes. a flying cartwheel and randomly survived. That's awesome. I accidentally uh, turned auto save off or uh, when it went to because uh, I was pressing B for some that reason, was sweet. and I went to go get his money, but you didn't have any money. Because he's poor. So we're gonna give Bruce a call and tell him that the job's done. Don't worry about the Revis anymore. Lethal, man. A lot of people are gonna be very grateful that certain people who fucked with them can't say things to other people or fuck with anyone anymore. I if you get me. I get the money you're paying. You're all about the cabbage. I mean, the lettuce, the lettuce. Ice cold, man. I love it. There'll be some more work when you need it. So we completed that hit with ease. Got a bunch of money for it from Brucey. Thank oh, you man. so much. He pays so well. So we're gonna uh, take a car from the uh, airport here. I think it is a Calvacade FXT. Yeah. <laughs> or is it? No, I go for the station wagon. But I'm just, what the hell are you doing? Get the freaking Calvacade. 
Maybe not. It could be a contender. I just thought it was a contender. It's probably a contender. I'm thinking about getting it a truck. It is a contender. I don't know. I want a Jeep, though. Dude, but I I'm thinking about getting a truck because of uh, reasons. Yeah. You want to know my reasons? Sure. Tell us your reasons. Carry around cargo. What kind of cargo? You don't need to know. You don't. <laughs> so, for that mission, we kind of uh, ran the uh, chase scene a little short. Just because uh, my amazing shooting abilities were able to catch That is so true. Normally, uh, if that chase scene, if you keep following through that uh, chase scene, there will... Uh, it will go all the way to like Bohan and everything. It's a pretty uh, long chase scene, but if you can just manage to uh, crash his car or just shoot at him, kill him, or whatever, then you can uh, uh, finish the mission. I like how does it move? Well, when we knock down the streetlights? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is going to be our first uh, activity we're going to do with uh, we get a new friend here, little Jacob, finally, and we're going to no. let you listen to the you conversation they have in this car. What's up, Jacob? You want to go to spend some quality time with the eyes, yeah. see it? Yeah. That's how our world work, work, you know? We gotta ease up from time to time to see how the world turns out. You know what I'm saying? I think so. The world can mess you up, you know? Make you think that things matter when all that matters is that the sun come up and we have a good time and laugh and things, see? I hope so, man. I do. You're up in an acre, even for a shot up. Yeah, so we're now friends with little Jacob, and little Jacob's actually probably my favorite uh, friend you can go on uh, activities with in this game. Mine too. You know why? Because he's awesome. That's, that's a great reason. It's an excellent I know. reason. So we're gonna go to uh, the Irish uh, pub here. My favorite, my favorite pub. Favorite pub? Dude, it's one of my favorites too. I really like it. Too. Nah, Irish. Duke's Steinway. Actually, a character that we will meet later in the game goes to this bar a lot. His family. I like how you sprint everywhere. Let's go! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> you'll have to get it under 50 minutes! Uh, so, this is just gonna be a little uh, introduction on how to play darts. I skipped through it. And I accidentally was pressing A to skip through it, and I throw the first dart without, er, without thinking. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, like I said before, you have you get to do go on activities with the friends you make throughout the game, Little Jacob being one of them, and uh, once the game is finished, we'll have five friends that you can do with, count them. Five, five one, five, two, two, three, four, four five. I, I know some people who don't know how to count to five, this, this might are, scare you, pretty sad but things. it's gonna happen. Actually, in this game, there's achievements that I already have, but what you have to do to get the achievement you saw me do here is you have to get a 180. You have to score 180 at this three darts, and you'll get an achievement. I can't remember what the achievement is called. Yeah, I remember when I told you how to get that achievement. Because <laughs> I didn't know how to get 180. Uh -huh. Yeah, I thought you kept hitting it like... I just assumed it was a bullseye because that was the hardest thing to hit, so it was just like, bullseye, where's my achievement? But I was like, <laughs> yeah. I need an extra point. It's, it's I didn't triple know. 20. Yeah. For all you people out there, triple 20, you'll get an achievement. Yeah, it's, it's the highest. Highest thing you can get. Learn that from my brother. Cool guy. I know. He's pretty cool. So, in order to get 100% in this game, if you remember way back in part 2 when I told you on how to get 100% in the game. I, no, it was a long time ago. It was a long time ago, but if you remember in that part, uh, I said that in order to get 100% you have to do every activity that you can do with these three of your friends, Packy, Brucey, and Little Jacob. So now that we're friends with Little Jacob, and, they're so nice. And you do become friends with Brucey later on. Spoiler and we have alert, met if the you other didn't already know. <laughs> I didn't know. But little Jacob, uh, we're not friends with him, so we're going to be doing every activity that we can with him periodically in the next few parts, so we can get 100% for you guys. Alright! <laughs> Sounds like fun. It does. Sounds like fun on the run. So, Maybe the person. This is our last game. Bender. This is our last Drama. dark game from this part. <sighs> really? I'm so sad. Dude, I'm depressed. I, was, I enjoyed playing darts and talking about random stuff. Anyway, this part is coming to an end. I know, this, so, this was like the one we got when we were bowling. Remember that one? That one was fun. <laughs> this, uh, thanks for watching. This has been Carl Roy, and we will see you in part 18. See ya.